What's up guys and welcome to Koh Samui, Thailand. Now if you're unfamiliar with the location of Koh Samui, it's a small island in the Gulf of Thailand, but don't let the small island description fool you. There's a ton of things to do here. If you want to come and visit, you have two ways of getting here. You can either fly in or you can take a ferry in from Surat Thani, which is what we did. We've got a jam-packed day full of amazing things to do here and I can promise you this is going to be one vlog that you're not going to want to miss. But first, as always, we're starting with a great cup of coffee and it's right down the beach. We're at a place called the Treehouse, and this place was shown to us by our friends Arzina and David, and we would not have found it without them, honestly. We were gonna show you a cafe that's about like five minutes that way, but because they showed us this, we felt like we had to share it with you guys. Amazing, thank you. You can actually stay here on the beach too. This is kind of like a little bungalow resort, and it's right on the beach. So this place is incredible. The food is amazing. Because Hannah's always so much healthier than I am, she got the green smoothie bowl. How beautiful this is. And tray, mm, mm, mm. lots of tomatoes. Oh, my one. And I got the scrambled egg, ham, and cheese burrito. All right, Hannah, you ready for what's next? Well, I thought I knew what was next, so I don't know. Am I, Dre? I think you'll like it. I'm excited, but I'm nervous. It's a surprise. Mm-hmm. Traffic on the island isn't too terrible right now, but on the weekends, it does get kind of crazy. So if you are coming to Koh Samui, make sure that you drive carefully, first and foremost, but also make sure that you're just kind of keeping tabs on what time it is because the congestion on the island can get kind of crazy. It's basically like one giant loop around the whole island. All right, so we're three minutes away from our first big stop of the day. I have booked us something that's going to be really fun, I think. Hannah, like I said, does not know what we're doing, but it's something that she's wanted to do the entire time we've been in Thailand, and we've not done it yet. I learned very early on in our relationship that if Trey says there's a surprise, nine times out of ten, whatever I think it is, it's not going to be that. <laughs> Where are you taking me? I'm taking you to a cafe. It's an elephant cafe. Oh, I'm so excited! Miss Buki, she is a doctor of the elephant at the moment. Only her and only one in Samui Island. When the elephant and other camp get sick, they can bring the elephant to the clinic or they can call Miss Buki anytime. Miss Buki go to look after, give the medicine, and sometimes have to be injection for free. If you would like to rescue the elephant for one elephant, 1.5 million. Before the first hour project, the elephant dunk paper. Then after that, she, the money is complete 1.5 million baht because she opened until now 7 years already. She rescued the first one named Yo Yo. She's 72 years old. Oh wow. Your finger. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> My elephant so vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> to support of them. Come the, if the weather is very hot, they go to the mud too. The reason why we chose to come here as opposed to anywhere else is because this place is focused on helping elephants that are used in shows at other parts around Thailand. They go and they rescue them, they bring them here, and they help give them a better life, which is something that we can absolutely back. It's donations based, so I highly recommend coming here and supporting this amazing cause to help big guys like this, or girls. I'm not really sure if it's a girl or a guy. It's Yo-Yo though. <laughs> <laughs> Before it's a big one like this. Oh, okay. She make by her food, bread and peel. Wow. She eat only inside. Oh, move a little bit more. Oh. Mm -hmm. She eat only inside because inside, inside small one, a lot of juice and very soft for her. Wow. <laughs> but the trunk is so strong, right? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and when when you're standing with elephant, mm -hmm. not standing behind the bottom. Oh, okay. When they fart, they fart really high speed. You can fly back to Amitabha. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. 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 This is so cool. Mana. This is amazing. She was telling us that they just walk around because there's enough food here. They don't want to leave. There's yeah. food, right? Yeah, no there's, leave no, when there's no, food. no fences. No reason to leave, though. No reason to leave. No there's reason plenty to leave. of food. 
if you're coming to Thailand, then odds are you're going to want to do something involving elephants because there are so many elephants to see here in the country. You can experience these beautiful, beautiful creatures, but you want to do it in a place that is friendly to the elephants and has the elephants' well-being at the center of their mission, and this place is it. We weren't reached out or anything about this. We wanted to show this place off because we found the mission online, we found them online, and it just... It just really resonated with us, and Hannah's been wanting to see elephants since we've gotten to Thailand, and I've not been able to make that happen, so mission accomplished today. The way that this place started out, too, they started making paper to raise money to save elephants from uh, elephant poop. <laughs> So we got some books of that paper. We had such a great time here. And we also got a t-shirt that I am probably gonna rock every single day because this place is amazing. <laughs> and I and we also got little keychains. Bye! Bye! <laughs> you too, thank you. Do we have to do other things? That was absolutely epic, and I am so sad to be leaving, honestly. But we are headed to our next stop because we gotta keep moving. And there is some potential for us to make some more animal friends here at this next spot. We're gonna catch some sunshine and enjoy one of the most beautiful beaches here in Koh Samui. All right, guys, as great as coffee is and as great as elephants are, there's nothing to do in Koh Samui that beats the beach. And if you're gonna come to Koh Samui and go to a beach, then odds are you're gonna go to Chowang Beach, which is where we are today. We're not going to a bunch of different beaches because this one's huge and it's got everything we want. So we figured we'd make our lives a little bit easier and show you the best beach in Koh Samui, according to the internet. So if you come to Koh Samui, you are going to have no shortage of options of beaches. On the west side of the island, you've got Nathan Beach and I forget the other beach. And then the east side, that's where the more popular touristy areas are. This is the most popular one along with, I think, Silver Beach and Lamai Beach. We got some chairs outside of OP Bungalow and we're not staying at this resort hotel, but this is an option if you are looking to rent some chairs and it was 100 baht each, which we think is a pretty fair price since this is the only beach we're going to today. So we're gonna stay as long as we can. I gotta be honest with you, I don't really know where exactly to snorkel on Chuang Beach. So if you know, then please put it down in the comments so that anybody else watching this video that's looking for those answers, if I don't find those answers when I go out in a few minutes, um, they'll be able to find it there. Can come over here gotta be kind of careful um we're i'm right off the beach and right under me is i counted at least three sea urchins and people are just walking around out here honestly that felt like a bit of a fail <laughs> like it, it said online that that was like the best spot to snorkel and i know for a fact that where we were was not as good as where we're about to go we didn't plan on going to uh coral cliff beach or coral cove beach however you say it i forget so many variations online, but in any case, we've already been there twice, and we know what the snorkeling's like there, and it is a lot better than here. I suppose one of the good things about just heading over to Coral Cove Beach is that we get to show you a little bit more of Chuang Beach Road. There's a ton to do on this road, it's very popular for the nightlife, um, and there's a ton of resorts and restaurants and stuff to do around this area, so if you're looking for kind of the more nightlife party scene, Chuang Beach is the spot for you. Another good thing about this beach is the sand is so much more like coarse, I guess. I don't know what the word is. Like rocky. rocky. So if there's a beach I want to sit on, it's this one. Yeah, me too. I love this beach. This is a really good beach, honestly. Coral Cove Beach is open to the public, but it's wedged between two resorts, so parking a car is a bit difficult, but if you're lucky like us, then you'll be able to park down at the bottom of the hill. This little beach is tucked in between two rocky areas, which kind of insulates a little reef here just off the shore. as we've had with elephants and beach hopping today. We have one more place that you absolutely have to go to if you're here in Koh Samui and we're gonna head to the Big Buddha, but first we need to grab some lunch from 7-Eleven because there's no other way to have lunch in Thailand than at 7-Eleven. <laughs> now there are a hundred different things that you can do here in Koh Samui, but one thing you shouldn't do is miss any of the temples. Now, we've only got one on the agenda for today, so if we're missing out on some really good ones, then get down in the comments and let us know so that other people don't miss them. But the one that we're not missing today is the Big Buddha, and it speaks for itself. Look at this thing. 
Big Buddha Temple, or Wat Prayai, sits in the northeast of Kosamui and sits on its own little island. This temple was built in 1972 and sits at almost 40 feet tall. If you fly into Kosamui, then you'll fly right over the top of it. If you're on the left side of the plane, then the Big Buddha is pretty much unmissable. Perfect timing. <laughs> Like all of the other temples that you'll visit here in Thailand, you also have to have your shoulders and your knees covered, so just appropriately. Found shade for your feet, didn't you? If you're gonna visit the Big Buddha, highly suggest coming in the morning when the ground has not been scorched all day. And the lighting is a little bit better because it's yeah. not directly behind the Buddha, or you could come at <laughs> yeah. sunset, but the ground is still probably gonna be hot from the heat all day. Yeah, my apologies for not coming at the best time to see the Big Buddha, but we've, we've been busy today. To. Yeah, yeah, we've done a lot today. I'm trying to get some photos, but my feet are all in the pile. The giant hot grasshopper on this dress, so Hannah's gonna go pick it up. It's huge. <laughs> you know, yeller is an untrusting feller. Uh, the, well, it's green, so. It's got yellow on it. No, it doesn't. Yes, it does. We're going and playing golf. What? But with our feet. It's called foot golf. I'm really excited about it. It's so Are you kidding me? Golf. Let's do it. Are we kidding? This is totally touristy and I totally don't care. Yeah, we ne definitely need to keep score. Oh, one free drink. I love that. Um, I'll do water. Water. Yeah. Do water. Thank you. Yes, thank you. I thought I had a stronger leg than I do. They gave tips inside, but Trey was too focused on picking the perfect ball. So now I think I have the advantage because I read the tips. You're in the fairway, Hannah. You're just a chip over that little tree from the green. Oh no! Hey! All right. Trey, I think you missed the hole. <laughs> no, I wanted to get closer, make it happen for my third shot. You know, it's strategic. I just want to say, for the record, that ball made it from the sand into the into the deal. <laughs> recording, but no. <laughs> This place is beautiful to even just come and walk around. If you're just walking as a participant, I think you have to play a fee. But I mean, this is a nice little spot to walk around. Yeah. What's cool about this is it's not only the oldest foot golf course in Asia, but it's also located in a botanical garden. This isn't solely for the foot golf course. So, I mean, it's beautiful out here, although you do need mosquito. Um, yeah. You need repellent. mosquito repellent, which they give to you at the start when you get your tickets to play. But uh, this is a ton of fun. And I'm going to bend it like Beckham right here. Oh. <laughs> it was right telling into you the to man try. laying down. Sheesh. It's telling you to try again. Do a Baggio and go over the bar or go low through the goal. Oh my gosh, Hannah. Oh, you almost got it in the hole. Oh, you're directing it where to go. <laughs> so as you can see, this is a very sweaty sport. I'm actually sweating a lot more than I thought I would. We are currently at hole 11, so we're gonna go and enjoy the water before finishing the last seven holes. And then after that, we'll bring you back along with us because I know you probably don't wanna see us play a kick around a ball the whole rest of the evening. So we'll see you at sunset. And welcome to sunset. 
One of our favorite things to do everywhere that we go is to catch a pretty sunset somewhere. And you can make the case that Koh Samui has a thousand of them. Over on the west side of the island, you've got Nathan Beach and Lipanoi Beach. So those are great options. But near where we're staying, there's a little spot called Hod Rin Queen Pier, where honestly, it's mainly used for ferry transports. But we're going to sit back and watch the sunset dip over that little peninsula out there because we did this a few nights ago and it was absolutely stunning. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, I'm hungry. You hungry? Yes. What's for dinner? Something fishy. We're going to Fisherman's Village for dinner. <laughs> now, if you come to Kosamui, your trip is not complete until you visit Fisherman's Village. This is an area we found ourselves visiting most nights, and you can find various shops, lots of food options, and little vendors that you can choose from. Okay, so we have found a little seating area, but there's like a cocktail bar right here, so I panicked. I figured we probably had to buy a cocktail, so I got myself a gin and tonic. Oh. She do good? It's so good. That's the thing. These food markets, they're really affordable. Like for instance, mine, I think mine was like 60 baht or 70 baht, which is like $2 and some change. That's spicy. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm gonna be brutally honest, I guess, real quick. There's one thing that I didn't totally love about Kosamui. The driving can be a little treacherous. I mean, we're driving around in a car and even on the motorbike, some people drive a little fast. But other than that, I can honestly say that both of us have fallen head over heels in love with Kosamui. We are gonna wrap things up here, but if there's anything that we miss that is an absolute must do in Kosamui, please get down in the comments so that other people aren't like us and they go to those awesome places or we can do it on our next trip here. And also leave a like because that helps our channel and we'll see you next time in a video here real soon.